The Army has a campaign of learning that is a series of events throughout the year that culminates into Project Convergence 22. So Edge 22 is an experimentation and demo gateway event for the Future Vertical Lift Cross-Functional Team. What they're trying to accomplish out here in Dugway is solving and addressing the gaps they have in command and control when it comes to Army aviation at the tactical edge. What Collins Airspace is doing is taking their investments from all services, leveraging it with enduring technology, so some of the Army programs are record, um, as well as enduring technology from our sister services, targeted technical insertions, and bring it together to make an affordable solution that the Army can use as they're moving forward in today's environment. The key to what we're trying to show is that if you move some capabilities that historically have been only at command centers and you move those things out to key nodes in the battle space on tactical nodes, whether that be an airborne helicopter, whether that be a field expedient command post that you can put on a hill somewhere and can configure, now you have real-time operations going on you know, you're maybe seconds away from the data that's, that's going around the network because you have processing, you have the multi-level security and the networks all out at these key nodes and then distributing that data to all of the other forces in the network. There were two things that really drove our, our invitation to Edge 22. The first was our ability to deploy a mesh network at significant range. I think that's something, a problem that the Army has been struggling with. They've been looking at different technologies of how to solve that. I think that also coupled with our intelligent gateway and our multi-domain security allowed them to see that not only could we have a mesh network that would operate at range, but we could bridge between multiple different security levels and multiple different types of waveforms to make sure that we could deliver messages all the way from the air down to the soldier on the ground. The ability to be able to bring in those, those sensed data sources and filter out the things within that data that can't be disseminated out and do that at the tactical edge autonomously will greatly speed the ability to conduct operations going forward.